All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to FTW for the Warp as part of the Indie Game Lightning Round. I saw this game, I think, on Twitter a little while ago, and as an absolute roguelike fanatic, eh, fanatic fan, I'm not a fanatic. If I was a fanatic, I would have no complaints about the genre, and I always have minor critiques. I am an aficionado of the roguelike genre, and there seems to be this booming subgenre of roguelike de deck builders or roguelike roguelike or roguelite deck builders and I'm really excited for all of them because all of them have little just slight changes and some of them are amazing as seen with the uh a game I just totally forgot the name of how did I forget the name of it Arcanium there we go anywhere from Arcanium Slay the Spire Dicey Dungeons all of them have a unique twist on deck building, and because of the deck building nature of it, you often have a little bit more control that most roguelikes don't give you. And so I'm kind of excited to check this one out, which apparently the load screen, uh, the title screen's a bit busted. You're supposed to have ships going by, but it stopped looping. Oh well. Anyway, uh, let's see. So I will say this game is currently available on itch.io for ten bucks. It is very, very early, early access. So you're not going to have a whole lot of content. I'm assuming that there's. I mean, obviously, we're missing two ships, and I'm sure there's going to be bugs, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, Standard Frigate Hull 75 Shields 10, officially called the Panhuman Standard Frigate MK7, it provides a versatile set of features, from perfectly balanced plasma cannons to sensible equipment capacity. It's the most balanced choice for hauling cargo and facing enemy threats. The nearest warp gate was destroyed, and you had no option but to take the longest route. This was a dangerous system, far away from the nearest pan-human controlled system. You carry a valuable cargo, maybe not entirely legal or ethical, but enough to make all of this worth it. Just maybe. Let me move my face. Maybe story stuff. If I'm up here, up here seems safe. I might shrink down a bit. I don't do a whole lot of face cam. This is new to me. We'll find out. Anywho. You find your way onto a big market station. You need to prepare for the journey ahead. Spend your money wisely. Use the money to buy cards from the market and build up your deck. Each time a card is bought, a new random card appears. So, I have 100. We can get extra max HP. Ring down removes shields from all enemies and disables them. Disables shields? It's definitely a rare. So, common, uncommon, rare. Wait, point defense charges six to shields. Does that recharge shields? Uh, I'm gonna buy point defense. Three damage for each common card in your hand, including this one. <gasps> Quantity over quality. That sounds amazing. Okay, and I'm out of money. Uh, we're just going pure trash deck here. Each moon costs one fuel, and you only see adjacent squares. You have to reach the warp gate to proceed to the next system. So, I have 11 fuel, five H uh, 75 HP. This is my deck. This is active equipments. Well, I've got a whole bunch of common cards, so quantity over quality. Uh, let's see. Can I go this way? Proximity alert. Combat tutorial, use cards to attack your enemies or charge the shields on your ship. Your ship has three energy at the start of each turn. Cards have an energy cost to be played. At the start of, or at the end of your turn, you draw five new cards and energy is restored. Play shield cards to block at damage from enemies. Your shields do not disappear at the end of your turn. On the enemy HP bar, you can see what their action uh, you can see the action for the next turn. Use a shield card if an enemy is attacking you next turn. Click a card to select it, then click on an enemy for your attack cards. If it's a shield card, click on your own ship. Okay. Bammo. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of uh, Halcyon 6. I think it was Halcyon 6. Inspiring shot, inspiring shot. This is, he's defending. So we can just blast him as much. I think it was Halcyon 6, which had these absolutely beautiful pixel ships. Really interesting stat status effect system. I kind of, I missed that game. So charging six to shields is actually not nearly as good as I thought it was going to be, but that's fine. 
But yeah, Halcyon 6 was great. I... Okay, reverse polarity. Damage to target equal to your shields. Or spend one fuel gives two energy. Nope. Well, we have a distress signal, but I guess I can't go to it. Is this another fight? Oh, friendly freighter. Uh, interested in this, pay you 20 for it. Sure. Why can I not go to the distress signal? I'm confused. I guess we'll go to this thing. Weird. This map navigation is a little funky. I'm probably going to run out of fuel, which is going to be bad. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I, Halcyon 6 it was such a fantastic game. The only real beef I had with it was purely just the fact that... It's, uh, it was purely just the fact that there was, uh... Ooh, ow. Pirate Vulture is spooky. Uh, let's see. Shields up. Keep shooting this guy, because I don't have much of a choice. Um, anyway, Halcyon 6 was just long. And that was actually... That was just a bit of an annoyance from my perspective. Because, like, I wanted to play more of the game. This is going to hurt. Uh, let's see. I wanted to play more of the game, but it just took forever to get anything done. It was just kind of constant fights and a lot of... A lot of not much else. And so it dragged on for, like, episodes and episodes. I almost feel like it would have been better than, like, a roguelike format. Which is actually kind of amusing, because... That's actually going to be uh, what their next game is going to be, uh, which is just pure roguelike uh, called, it's not Star Crawlers, it's Star something or other. I, all I know is Raw Fury is publishing it, and I'm, I'm a big fan of Raw Fury's uh, pretty much anything they publish, so I'm looking forward to that one as well. Uh, Star something, I don't remember. Oh, I should have point defensed. Uh, he's going to do three to nine. We can probably kill him if we do this. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That, we took some hurt. Uh, that's okay. 25 credits, draw three cards, or ignite deals five damage to the target. Ignite. Starts a fire, three damage during two turns. Does that ignite me, or I hope it ignites them? You found a destroyed orbital habitat. Millions lived here. Something's gone terribly wrong. Uh. Well, we can go to this, whatever the heck this is. Explosive deals 10 damage to target. Enemy has shields, deals 50% of damage to HP. Enemy is attacking, deals 15 damage. Counter maneuver. All right, let's grab missile and counter maneuver. And buy an actually silly amount of fuel. I'm probably going to die. So I'm here. So if I go this way, we get a mystery. Oh. Uh, I found a pen human repair ship. They offered to repair 20% of your max HP. Hell yeah. Okay, so now I understand how this map's working. So, I've taken some hits. I've taken some hurts. We'll figure we'll figure this out. Okay, we'll shields up. Unfortunately, counter maneuver does not do anything. So, we'll just have to end turn. Sucks that I whenever ooh, quantity over quality. Hell yeah. Don't look like he's attacking. Necessarily, so we're just going to hit him. I don't know what offensive effect is. Oh, drone. Interesting. Okay. Now they're doing offensive effects. Does that count? No. Well... I don't know what that did. Ship energy, nothing else. Inspiring shot, plasma burst. Any of these do seven? 
no. Well, quantity over quality will take it out. I think I'll just do Inspiring Shot and Laser Cannon. So that does set him on fire. Cool. And I still have energy, actually. Bammo. It doesn't really look like they're shooting me. So I guess I'll just work on killing him. So he drops another drone. They're doing defense. Let's kill the rogue AI factory. Drop that on him. They still haven't touched our shields in the slightest. So I, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hang out here. Uh, let's see. Speaking of long, when is your ultra large map year four thousand crisis event one planet only Stellaris run coming out? Oh god, that sounds. That sounds like it would be rough. I like Stellaris. It's a shame from my perspective, because no one ever seems to really want to watch Stellaris. Uh, let's see. I don't have counter maneuver, do I? Well, I'm wiping him out. Then we're doing shields up. He's going to do three to nine. Do we start a fire? Now let's just do shields up. Take no damage. Guarantee that. We only took three. Perfect. Yeah, Stellaris is hard to watch others play. Which sucks from my perspective, because, like, I actually would be down for playing more grand strategy games and just big games in, in general. If I knew that it wasn't going to be, like, a massive time sink that people weren't interested in watching. In retrospect, Missile maybe wasn't the best idea here. That's okay. Like, I think it would be better for me to specifically play those on my own and just kind of tell the story after the fact. Grab another counter maneuver, which I'm not actually entirely confident. That's good. So I'm here. Another rogue AI factory. Quantity over qu quantity, not the best. Well, we'll figure it out. Let's see, hit him with that. Hit him with a reverse polarity, which does not cost me anything, and I can just wail on him. Yeah, last time I just went for the drones. Kill the dude first. The drones themselves are weak. Inspiring shot. Come on, give me a counter maneuver. No counter maneuver was to be had. Shields up, even though it doesn't help me much. I almost wish I could carry stuff over or something. Okay. Ah, uh, damn it. Oh, he made me discard cards. That's what the offensive effect was. Okay, well, that works for me. Yeah, hey, I get some fuel. Uh, let's see. Plasma Napalm. Eight damage to all enemies. Spend a fuel damage to the target. Nope. Let's grab Napalm. It's just nothing but rogue AI factories. Alright. We'll just go from here. Um, well. It's not really shooting me, so I guess I'll keep hitting him. Plasma, plasma Napalm would be useful. Okay, he's almost dead. We just have to wait. Okay, Particle Cannon kills him. Probably should have started with Quantity Over qual uh, quantity over Quality, but too late. Okay. Counter Maneuver. Yes, you're shooting at me. I finally get to use this ability. This actually is fairly strong ability that I've been wanting to use more often. But no one shoots me. It's so weird. Bam. Counter Attacks. I'll have to see if I can actually pare my deck down. Okay, Antimatter Blast. Six damage to a target if AM Generator is in hand, deals 12 damage instead. I mean, that's pretty good. Across the board. Ah, 
Hi. Okay. So shields up. Counter maneuver. <laughs> Inspiring shot. Give me the free shot. Nope. Can't do anything. Okay. Start with plasma napalm. No matter what, that was worth it. And we're just going to do point defense. I'm going to take some hits here. Okay. Quantity over qual... Well, oh, I didn't realize, but quantity over quality is actually a free shot. Yes. Okay, drop a missile on him. We'll drop a missile on him. Probably could have gone for the inspiring shot and had to do a little bit more, but whatever. Okay, he's attacking. Okay, well, shields up a little bit. Could have reversed polarity for maybe a little bit more damage, but yeah. Okay. Antimatter shot. Counter maneuver. There we go. Hell yeah. Okay. Opportunity. Dran draw a random card with three energy costs from your deck. Nah. Let's go into antimatter blast. Is this another repair ship? Oh, yes. Let's get rid of a Plasma Burst. So what do we have here? Uh, let's see, sell some ship upgrades. Burn fuel, evasive maneuvers, laser cannon. They're okay. I'll live without. Okay, we want to go for the mysteries. Whatever the mysteries are, they have interesting things. Hey, there's a repair. Okay, and I'm doing fine on fuel. The more things I fight, the more stuff I, I've got. Proximity alert. All right, same, same business. Anybody shooting me? Yes, bottom guy. Should be able to just kill him this round. Hell yeah, counterattacks. That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, what do I got here? So they're going to be hitting me. Let's shields up best I can. Plasma Napalm? Yeah. That's my best option. Let's see. This is going to hurt and I'm not going to be able to avoid it too much, but that's fine. Because we've almost got the Free Space Corvette down. That's a good. That's a good spot to be. Just shy. And he's dead. Oh, because he was burning. Let's grab point defense. Okay, my health is still having some issues. Uh, let's see. Sell fuel? No. I do not sell fuel. Yes. I will deal with deck bloat one way or another. Okay, time to start making our way down. Because it's time to get out of here. Oh, did I forget to change the stream title? I must have. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, uh, let's see. So what do we got? Defense, defense, attack. Well. It's nice that you can kind of click and drag. I'm sure it's kind of un unintentional, but still. I hit him. Do I kill him with a missile? Yeah. I could shields up. Better to just kill the guy. I'm probably going to lose here. Uh, but that's okay. Oh, shoot. I didn't kill the lower guy. He had shields. Well, it's fine. We actually we did okay there. They didn't do nearly as much damage as I was expecting they would. Okay. Antimatter burst. Plasma burst. Plasma burst. 
don't have too much else I can do, but that's okay. Missile! Ammo. So yeah, biggest issue, we're just very... We're slowly dying. Boost up. Let's grab boost up. I feel like no matter what, that'll be useful. Okay, let's start making making our way out of here. If we can. Okay, Rogue Eye, Eye Factory, I can... I can work with you. Oh, he's attacking. They never attack. That's super weird. Okay, laser cannon, boost up. Probably should have done the plasma napalm. That's fine. He burns. He burns fast. Yeah, I like boost up. Because you can cycle those. And effectively just have max energy constantly. Alright, and we're good. Okay. Chains intent of all enemies. Or 5 damage reach... Uncommon in your hand, including this one. That's actually pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use that one as much. But it's good. Okay. This looks a bit dangerous. As in, like... I got shields! But this is spooky. Alright. I guess I'll keep shielding up. I kind of wish there was no shields limit in this game. That's kind of a weird choice. Okay, would have liked to boost up. Probably would have been the smarter choice, but I'm trying to forestall my own death. And that's a little harder. He's going to do 10 to 18, which... Yeah, that hits me full. Okay, did not hit me full. That's good. Raises shields. I guess let's just shields up here. Yeah, might be able to raise your shield limit with equipment. Maybe, yeah. Haven't seen an equipment go by, though. Would certainly help if and when we get to that point. Okay, uh... So got two energy. We'll do boost up. Gonna do five damage to me. Okay, good to go. If you had a really limited hand, like if you only had five cards, you could actually just constantly cycle boost up, which actually, that'd be pretty cool. Unfortunately, I am just creeping towards death. Nope. Bloated into tiny pieces, reached system one, defeated 24 enemies, better luck next time. And there we go. Interesting. I like it. I probably should have rushed it a little bit more. And seen what I had. Uh, like, seeing what I could get on the next region. I was just hoping I could find a little bit of equipment or some interesting chip upgrades. So, I like the idea of this. I found the cards to be a little bit on the limited side of things, though. Where, like... I only did, I only had one card that did a status effect. The quality over quantity and quantity over quality, those were neat. And I'd like to play around with those more, but you need way heavier deck management. I could see that working, though. Uh, let's do one more, and I'm just going to rush for the, the thing. We didn't really get a whole lot by sticking around. In fact, we were just slowly dying. Normally, you kind of want to take your times with deck builders so you can actually manage your deck. Uh, but this is not one of those games as much. So I'm going to grab the extra plating. I don't really know if we want more than that, though. Let's see, spare munition. Uh, I guess we'll grab the particle cannon. I'll grab those. Counter maneuver would have been nice. Okay, so we're, we're just going to beeline for portal. 
we're going to make it as far as we possibly can with what we've got. Yeah, you can only buy equipment at the beginning of each new map. Gotcha. So sticking around is mostly useful if you want to pick up a bunch of cash. Which I guess there are merits for that. Uh, let's see. Let's grab that. Pardon me, slowly sinking off the camera. Standing desks setups are pretty good, but I was just at Disney <laughs> a couple days ago and uh, a little tired. So let's let's. Uh, do I want to? It seems foolhardy. Let's go for the uh, distress call at the very least. We want to pick up some money. Okay, get rid of that one quick. Ow. Uh, let's see. Fortunately, this isn't going to help me too much. Start just going for the bottom one. Uh, but yeah, it was at Dini, uh, Didney. Dibney. I was at Dibney earlier, and... Uh, that's not actually... Oh, wait, no. They're both defending. Everybody defends today. Uh, I was at Disneyland, and I'm not, I'm not quite recovered yet. I'm getting there, but I'm tired. Oh, boy. Yeah, the shield caps are kind of rough. Because it means, like, it, it guarantees that I'm going to take some damage from some of these enemies. As I just do not have enough shields to deal with two enemies shooting at me at the same time. I guess it makes sense, though. Uh, the quality of or quantity is not really the most useful. This reminds me of FTL. Slay the spaceship. And that's... It's very on the nose. But yeah, I'd like to see more interesting... Immediately interesting status effects as we go by. Uh, let's see. Three damage for each. Or charges up to nine. Overfield sounds good. We have a trade station. Oh! Quality over quantity. Jeez. Okay, this is bad. I, I forget. Quality over quantity actually counts itself. Brain. Is sometimes here. Okay. Let's just keep wailing on that guy and figure it out. I... Okay. If forced to discard. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, he's got madcap shields. I'm offended. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna do that. Uh, let's see. Inspiring resistance. F overfield. But I don't think I really want to use that. Okay. So yeah, rough business. We're gonna come out on on top. But it could be better. Let's see, how am I doing on shields? We'll max it out. There we go. Yeah, definitely liking quality over quantity. I I think both of the cards are actually very worthwhile. Uh, going for those free costs based on, like, having certain things in your hand. Actually pretty dang good. 10 damage to target and charges 10 shields. Damn. Grabbing that. Now we're finding the good good stuff. Uh, let's see. Seven for one fuel. No. I'm so poor. I need fuel. Ooh. Supply cache. Create in the middle of nowhere. Could be something valuable. Space junk or rigged explosive device. Open it. Yes. Barrel roll. Receive no damage next turn. Hell yeah. Hailing colony. It seems you've encountered a hailing colony on the planet's surface. They have a data package to be delivered to the nearest warp gate and are offering a reward in advance. 80 credits. 15 fuel. Rare equipment. Rare equipment. Extra max shields. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. So it looks like I only have three active equipments. Ah, oh, It's very limited. So shields 
Ricochet. Well, we need fuel. More than anything else. I'm gonna grab reverse polarity. We're we're going quality over quantity, and uh, quantity of that. We'll figure it out. Okay. Firing resilience, barrel roll. Ah, uh, sure. You cannot touch me. Let's see. Just shields up a little bit. I am untouchable, so we actually want to get rid of stuff, if I can manage it. Okay, well, not going to be able to get rid of more. I want to be able to do damage equal to my shields, but they are not going to let me. Well, that's fine. Plasma Maelstorm and Reverse Polarity. That's some damage. Okay, there we go. You want a barrel roll? No. There we go. He is dead. We have shields. Barrel roll up. You can't hurt me, fool! I'm rolling too hard. Yeah, having just 10 more max shields really has made this a lot easier. So at this point, we really want to just get rid of stuff. If we can manage it. Uh, let's see. Whew, 17 damage. Ouchie. But that's okay. Because, yeah. I am, I am spinning hella hard. And it has turned me into an absolute monstrosity. Peppy would be so proud of you. Peppy would be puking all over everything. I had a roommate whose nickname was Peppy. Uh, let's see. No. Absolutely lovely guy. Uh, he was a huge fan of Star Fox. And so he shows up as a freshman. And... Ow. Um, he shows up as a freshman and... I was part of a frat. And effectively, the, the frat... Uh, let's see. The frat would assign nicknames, kind of based on who and what you were, because it was easier to remember sometimes. Especially because there were a lot of people that would kind of cycle through the frat. And so... Peppy really wanted to be called Fox. And uh, one of my classmates, the guy that actually uh, works at... Uh, is it Hairbrain Schemes? I think it's Hairbrain Schemes. The people that made Battletech and uh, Necropolis. Let's see, he's charging, so there's actually no point. Overfield up. Yeah, I could barrel roll, but it didn't really help too much. Uh, let's see. But yeah, so uh, my, cl my classmate, guy from the same year as me, looks over at the guy and is like, uh, more or less said to the guy, like, you want to be peppy. Or no. You want to be Fox, but you look more like a Peppy to me. And it just, it's stuck. It's stuck so hard. And no matter how much he insisted he wanted to be called Fox, Peppy was just like the perfect name for the guy. Like, even beyond the um, Star Fox reference, he just really embodied that word. I haven't talk, talked to him in a while. Technically, there's a YouTube video with him uh, on, on my channel. Like... Old prop hunt video. I think one of my, one of the first videos I ever put out. Ion pulse removes shields from the target. I don't. I'm not going to go for that. It seems like it would be a good idea. Um, and I agree to some degree. And we're just stacking cash for a second. Okay, there's barrel roll. Probably should have started with a draw in retrospect, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you don't get to choose your nickname. Sometimes you can. I kind of did. No nickname really ever stuck for me, though. Like, people called me Art just because I was the only art student. 
But in retrospect, it was a dumb nickname. Like, just calling the single art artist uh, art is... It's almost demeaning. And realistically, like, no, I didn't actually care that much. But, like, thinking back to it, it would be like calling the only girl as part of the gr group just calling her girl. And it's just like, uh, yeah, that's kind of tacky. All right, we get a barrel roll. Could barrel roll. Let's just do reverse polarity and a plasma burst, because I think that does more damage. Um, also works better for someone nicknamed Arthur. I'm actually, uh, so, sort of, not super interesting story, but I'm actually uh, named after my great uncle Art. His name was Carl. I don't know why anybody called him Art, uh, but my parents named me after him for some reason. I don't know why. Um, here. Let's, I'm going to shrink the camera just a little bit more so you can actually see their shield bar. It's visible, but it's not that visible. Could be a little bit more so. Anywho. Uh, repairs 3 HP and charges 5 shields. Hell yeah, prime defense. That's really good. So both Car Carl's and your family are called Art? Yeah, more or less for whatever reason. Uh, let's see. For first polarity, not that useful. Carl, Carl, Carl with a C. Okay, Plasma Maelstrom and Prime Defense. Oh, healing. Healing is going to be so good. But yeah, being peppy isn't bad. The voice actor who voiced him also did Sedith and Fire Emblem. Oh, neat. Uh, but yeah, I, I think peppy is actually a perfectly, uh, perfectly acceptable nickname, all things considered. Uh, let's just wipe him out. And, like, truly, it stuck so well, and it, it fit him so well that, like, it was a bit bullyish, but at the same time, like, I've never seen something so perfect come out of just, like, a random moment. Photon beam? Eh, no. We want to we wanna have a really thin build here if we can manage it. Okay, this got a bit spooky. So let's head for the exit. I got 92. I got 92 cash monies. I could go with a little bit better. But I... I don't want to run out of fuel. Because that would be bad. Okay. Overfield, plasma burst, plasma cannon. Hopefully we find somebody that can buy cards. I, I mean, I guess that is something that we are capable of. Plasma Maelstrom, but I don't need it as much. Okay. Prime Defense. Just that extra healing is going to make such a massive difference as we go along. It's just a little bit of... Just a little bit of... Uh, healing here and there. And that's all I need. Okay. They're both defending, so not super helpful here. Oh, that's not much. Okay, just keep blasting them. Did I get him? I'm not even... Eh. Okay, that's five damage. Hit him with a thing that's going to do six. Oh, shoot! I didn't notice he had shields. I guess I should have noticed he had shields. Oh, let's over, overfield and blast him. This is a... This is a much, much better build than last time. Is there a penalty for dragon fights out so I could heal up? No, there's no penalty. I could just sit around as long as I want. The only reason why I don't do that is because I already did that today. And, uh... It, it's kind of boring. Okay, point defense. And weapons charge. Both would be good, but I, I actually want a really thin build. Uh, let's see. Give you 24. Hell yeah. Let's stick around, but I don't have any fuel. So we'll have to wait on the next area. Boss fight? Boss fight. A free space pirate boss. This is the end of your journey. No, it ain't. Says you, jerkwad. Oh boy, that's 22 shields. How do you even... What the shit? Alright, whatever. Barrel roll, jerk. Alright, 6 to 12. Not in my... Uh, space opera. 
barrel roll. Reverse polarity. Hell yeah. I am unstoppable. If I can increase my max shields even further, I'm going to be so goofy. Uh, let's see. Alright, so he's doing an offensive effect. Which means I pretty much can't do anything else. So let's just shoot him. Oh, did he... He's messing with my energy. Less energy available next turn. That sucks. Whatever, we've got we've got other options. Reverse polarity. Bammo. What was your plan, Dill Hole? There's something about your ship that looks vaguely phallic. It seems appropriate. Okay, he's gonna attack me for a bunch of damage, and I can't really stop that. Conversely, I what no, we wanna do that. Oh! I really do like the fact that the cards look like floppies. I don't know how I didn't notice that up until now. Okay, pop another prime defense, reverse polarity, and I don't know, shields up. It's not gonna help me, it's not gonna hurt me, one way or another. Uh, let's see, overfield, shields up, and reverse polarity. And pirate's done, I am a tank man, and that's a good place to be. 26 credits, draw a random card, energy cost, three or more, no. I actually don't like either of these. Warp station. Blech. Location, Varlin system. Destination, Zintho system. Alright, so actually it looks like there's only so much in the game currently. Hey, five fuel free of charge. 